Hello and welcome to another Beardy David video. A couple of weeks ago I asked people on my Instagram page uh, to ask me a few questions, which you did, which I was very kind of, and then I kind of just forgot about it. Life got in the way as you do. So I thought I would catch up on that Q&A and answer all of your questions now. Now I will say before I start, a couple of them was a bit Halloween-y focus, so uh, I did take them out because it ain't Halloween anymore, it's Christmas. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight on into it. And I've actually written down who asked me the question this time, so it took a little bit more time to uh, get ready. Uh, right, so question one is Emma, uh, Emma at Disney Dreamer 2020, she asked two questions. She said, how old are you? I'm 35. And your favourite film of all time? Now this does occasionally change. At the minute, it's Chef. But Christmas is on the way, so it will probably be a Christmas film that will take over for a bit. Uh, Natalie has asked, have you played Animal Crossing? I have played Animal Crossing, I played it once, um, Lauren bought it, she spent months on it, I signed up for it, I didn't know the way of the world in Animal Crossing, I found all of this cool stuff on the floor, thought brilliant, I'll pick it up, took it to a shop and sold it, told Lauren oh I've made all of these bells already and um, she nearly had a breakdown because <laughs> I took all of her stuff. And, oh no, she is. She yes, I remember that. Oh no! <laughs> I think that's back to where it was. I remember that. She does. Did you say I had a breakdown? You did have a breakdown. I did not. I was very well behaved. And everybody who commented underneath said that I did very well. And actually, they would have got much crosser than I did. Yeah. But you haven't played it since, have you? Do you no, think that's why? I've gone right off it. Is that why? Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, next question from Ruth is, what's your favourite pudding? My favourite pudding is a sticky toffee pudding. It's delicious. If it's on the menu, I am having it. Uh, Natalie asks, are you and Lauren getting married? We wasn't, but we are now, because Lauren asked to marry me. If nobody knows, Lauren asked to marry me um, last week, and it was marvellous. So we are now getting married, which is excellent. We don't know yet. We're a long, long way away. We need to start planning, which we probably will do uh, after Christmas. Um, Shana says, what is your Christmas traditions? Don't have a huge amount of traditions to be honest. Um, we like to read the Christmas Postman on Christmas Eve. Uh, we like to do lots of baking and, uh, and we do our Christmas uh, advent calendar where we buy each other uh, presents for each. You, we, you know, we don't just do a traditional one, we spend a, a couple of pennies on a few presents and we get a few for mini. That's probably our biggest tradition is what we're doing and we really enjoy doing that and uh, we are doing that again this year. Lauren had asked um, if you could be any movie character who would it be and why? I would be from my favourite film Chef, Chef Carl Casper because he's awesome and he's very very good at cooking and I would make that cheese toasty. If you don't know what I want about look at the film and you will want that cheese toasty as well. Uh, Catherine has asked which Disney film sparked your love of Disney films? Now, uh, I would probably say what I can remember is maybe Mary Poppins, I think is, I, I, I know we had it on VHS and we wore it out. Uh, my, me and my two older sisters, we would just constantly watch it on repeat. I blimmin' loved Mary Poppins. But I feel like uh, animation, when I get older, it's probably Toy Story that kicked off my love of like actual um, like CGI graphics and stuff like that. Um, Abigail has said, your favorite meal, favorite meal is a burger and chips simple as that I love a burger I will always have it on the menu no matter what if it's there I'm having it um, Livia says you like Ready Player One would you read it I have read it and I do love it are you looking forward to part two I'm very much looking forward to part two I've had a, a few people message me saying am I excited for it I am uh, I'm not gonna get it when it first comes out I'm gonna be a good boy and put it on my list and hopefully on my Christmas list and hopefully Father Christmas will leave it under the tree for me Lorna has said, what book would you recommend for my 22 year old son who likes books about real life experiences? Actually, when he got you this one, Lauren helped me find a recommendation for this. And it's Kika and Me by Amit Patel. This guy, uh, he sadly loses his sight and it's all about um, uh, his journey uh, through coming to terms with um, being blind and then how he met Kika, his guide dog. It's a lovely story, made me cry, made me laugh, it's brilliant and I follow uh, Amit and Kika on Instagram now and they are very nice. 
Haley has asked, what is your dream job? My dream job would probably be, I'd really like to like uh, edit movie trailers as a job. That would be really cool, because I love a movie trailer. A lot of the time I enjoy the trailers more than the film. So that would be really cool to do a job uh, making all of them. Uh, Gemma at Reading Mum of Two has asked, would you rather have spaghetti for hair or tomatoes for ears? So if I could, if I could eat that, and then it grows back, then I'll definitely have spaghetti for hair because I love spaghetti. Shannon from Just A Book Thing has asked, your favourite Tim Burton film? That's easy, A Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a great film, love it. Lenny asked, did you read at all before meeting Lauren? Not really, I think the only thing I used to read was um, WWF autobiographies from like Mankind and The Rock before you become Dwayne Johnson. I used to enjoy reading them, but that was probably about it. Oh, like, um, it was mainly bog feasts, and there was a Jackie Chan one as well that I really enjoyed. I think I've done a, an English essay on it, actually. Ryan asked, do you have any plans to film an MCU vlog series like you did the Disney and Pixar ones? I certainly do, Ryan, but um, probably not until next year. Now that I'm back uh, working full-time, which I'm absolutely grateful for, I'm very, very happy and lucky to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to have the time now, but hopefully, yeah, one time next year I'm going to do that because I really enjoyed doing the Disney and Pixar ones. Lucy has asked, your favourite Christmas film and movie watching snack? At the minute, my favourite Christmas movie is Let It Snow. It's on Netflix. It was, um, it was adapted from a book and it's like, like lots of mini stories in a small town and they all roll up and end up at one big party. I love it. I really enjoy it and, uh, and it's going to be watched a few times from me this year. And my favourite movie watching snack is probably a birthday cake ice cream, like the Ben and Jerry's one. That is delicious. I really enjoy that. Uh, Alice asks, what's your favourite animal? Penguin. Penguins are cool. Penguins can survive uh, things that no other animal on earth can, apparently. I remember reading that somewhere. Apologies if I got that wrong. Um, Richie says, what author would you like to chat with over a beer? I'd like to chat with old uh, Ernest, who wrote um, Ready Player One and Ready Player Two, because I would like to uh, know where he got all of his ideas from, and then we can just chat about pop culture for hours upon end, because he obviously knows a lot about it, because he's written two books primarily based on pop culture. Elsie asks, what makes you happiest? Lauren makes me happiest. That was a very, very easy question. I love her to the end of the earth and back, and I think she loves me to the end of the earth and back, and we just have such a wonderful time to, together. It's it's always one of my most happiest is when I'm with Lauren. My lovely friend Graham has, asks, the last time you didn't have a beard, is there evidence? I think the last time I didn't have a beard was probably maybe about five or six years ago. If I can find it, I'll truth troll through my Facebook. So if I can find it, if I can, I'm going to put a picture here. And I hate the photo, I do not like it, I think I look awful without a beard, and I will never ever be without a beard. Uh, Millie asks, favourite to win Strictly this year? I'm probably going to say Maisie, I think. Um, I also think Bill Bailey might have a small shot. I, d I definitely think he'll get to the final, because he's, he's kind of going to be going on a journey, whereas Maisie is pretty good already, and we often know that... Um, Strictly people who are great from the offset normally get to the final, but they don't often win. So, but I'm going to stick with Maisie for now, but Bill was in brackets. Uh, Abby says, how did you and Lauren decide about not wanting kids? We just decided we didn't want kids, it's, you know, it, it just wasn't, not our, not our cup of tea, we don't fancy him. Uh, Gillian asks, the best thing about being Minnie's dad is that I get to see her every day. And, uh, and I always find her cute. We've had her for like eight years now and I still find her just as cute as the first day we got her. But right now she's sleeping just there and occasionally she's making a little snoring noise and I find it adorable. Ruthie at Tea Time Rees asks, what's your favorite chocolate? It's Toblerone, that's easy. Preferably the uh, white chocolate Toblerone. That is delicious. Although I see that, I think they're doing like an orange flavored one for Christmas this year. That's definitely the flavor. So if I can get my hands on one of them, I'm gonna try it. Uh, Lizzie asks, what's your favourite curry? My favourite curry is uh, chicken passanda. I like chicken passanda, bit of pillow rice and a naan, obviously. Uh, Lenny asks, do you read in the bath? I do not, I cannot read in the bath. I cannot read when I eat. Uh, I just, I feel like I would probably drop the book in the bath if I, if I'd done that. Uh, Maddie asks, what's your earliest memory? 
Lauren always says how bad I am at remembering um, memories of old. But I can remember uh, being on a seesaw with my two sisters and I think I let go of the seesaw as it come up like as I was on the up and then I remember just hitting the floor and then waking up being rushed back uh, by my two sisters and then being rushed to the, like, the hospital and doctors and being told to stay awake. I mean, I'm, I think I'm fine now. I've probably lost a few brain cells, but I'm all right. Donnie at Geek in the Zoo asks, your least favorite Disney movie and why? My least favorite Disney movie is The Black Cauldron because it's The Black Cauldron. It's a terrible film. I remember watching it for my Disney um, movie thumb and I really struggled. I mean, there was some, there were some bad movies in that Disney movie thon, but nothing as bad as Bad Cody. It just it's not a Disney film. I refuse to accept it as a Disney film. Archie and Moz asks your favourite breakfast and how do you take your tea? My favourite breakfast is uh, pancakes, bacon, and maple syrup. Absolutely wonderful breakfast. I'd have that every day if I could. And how do you take your tea? Um, just your average tea with a sweetener, like not too milky, not too dark, uh, just like, you know, like the nice golden colour. And it has to be a Barry's tea bag if possible. And Archie Moz also asks, Minnie's favourite toy or object at the moment? I'll show you what her favourite object is at the minute. It's this bit of string. She goes mad for it. That is it, just a bit of string. I can play that with her for hours and she enjoys it. Archie Moss also finally asks, is there a book of a film you love that you'd like to give a try? There is, and I actually own it and I haven't got around to reading it yet, and that's Jurassic Park, so I'll be interested to see uh, how different it is from the film. Kelly asks, <laughs> Kelly, my sister, so I said, what are you buying me for Christmas? Um, when you let me know what you want, then I'll think about it because I asked her the other day and she said, I don't know, I'm sorry, and that's no good. And next question, The Real Jellical asks, your favourite moment of 2020 so far, and it happened just last week when Lauren asked to marry me. And that'll probably be my favourite moment until we get married, I reckon. Rima asks, PS4 or Xbox and favourite games? PS4 all day long, always been PlayStation, PlayStation through and through. Uh, favourite games, FIFA, can't get enough of FIFA. I really am enjoying Fall Guys at the minute, that's great fun. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to play that, that is stupid, silly and it's addictive and it is infuriating. Uh, I think I've probably played uh, probably over a hundred times and I've won that crown once, but my word it was a joyous feeling. Emily asks, are you excited about the Back to the Future musical? I really am. I hope to get to see it one day. I'm not I'm not desperate to go and watch it, but uh, hopefully one day I'll get around to go and see it because it does look really cool and I've read lots of really positive reviews. And of course, hopefully people are going to be able to go to the theatre next year, fingers crossed. April asks, bucket list travel destination. My bucket list travel destination is uh, New Orleans. Uh, I think I'd absolutely love to go there. I really wanted to go down like that street forget the name of it but it's like the party street which looks really cool and some of the food there like I'd love to try beignet and also I've started watching NFL this year as you can tell by my hat I'm supporting the New Orleans Saints so I'd enjoy uh, going to watch them play as well. Tom and Nat from Two Please Vlogs asks what Walt Disney World Resort you'd love to stay at? I'd like to stay at the Polynesian I don't think I'd ever get to stay there because it'll be too too expensive it's thousands and thousands of pounds but you never know one day maybe if i win the lottery i might get there uh, laura from seaside book lover asks do you think you and lauren will get married i certainly hope so i know that we're engaged uh, and she also asks what do you do as a job and are you still furloughed uh, no i'm not furloughed i've recently as i said earlier just been lucky enough to go back full time and i am uh, i work in audio visuals so i go to events and set up lights and sounds and i do some video recordings and bits of video editing and stuff like that it's a really varied and interesting job rachel asks what type of cat is mini and would you get a second one uh, mini is a persian cross we're not quite sure what she's crossed with, but she is always cross. And would you get a second one? Definitely not. Uh, Minnie would not be happy with that. I feel like Minnie would probably try and um, beat up another cat if it turned up. So uh, she's happy on her own. Uh, Amber asks, um, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or sock, shoe, sock, shoe? I mean, I'm not a nutter, it's definitely sock, sock, shoe, shoe. I would never ever put on a sock and a shoe and then a sock and a shoe. 
that's just that's just unheard of. And then finally, well done everyone if you made it this far, Steph asks your favourite Chelsea football club player of all time. What a question to end it on. And that player is the little Italian wizard Gianfranco Zola. So there you go, that's uh, a few questions that I've answered. Hopefully you know a little bit more about me now. Uh, and thank you for watching everybody and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.